Hi, friends, and welcome to Brick House Phones, episode 39. Now, last week I said it was 36. I couldn't believe we were already this far ahead. We were actually on number 38 last week. You know that. I'm just getting up to date. This is number 39. So 39 and 40. Last week, this week, and the next week, I compiled the best that I had on my list to put them in these three videos. I have really great stuff today, really impactful stuff, things that really can make a difference in your life if you do them. So today we're going to need some sort of band that you can wrap around some sort of weight. A kettlebell works well, but a dumbbell works also. It doesn't have to be heavy, but the heavier it is, the more challenging it will be, I guarantee you. So you need a band. We're going to need a weight. The weight can be used for the exercise. It's also going to be used as a target in our first exercise. So um, that is the gist of our equipment for today. Four new exercises that we know help prevent fractures, make us stronger and more resilient. This is the brick house bones method where we do targeted exercises that we know make the most difference. Welcome. If you're new here, please subscribe. And for all of you that have been following along all the way, I thank you so very much. Great things coming along. We're going to be producing the Brick House Bones Method where we get much more clear and precise direction free to you on YouTube. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to set my band down. I'm coming down on the floor. We're doing a cobra position to a reach. So if you followed a few weeks ago, we practiced cobra. Now we're adding some extra posture work to that position. Wow. <clears throat> I think this might be a tad bit far. Here we go. We'll put that there. <clears throat> so coming down into my cobra position. So on my stomach, chin tucked. We don't want to be down here cranking on our neck by lifting our chin up like that. Okay. The chin should draw straight back as we do straight back. And then you can tilt up slightly to see where you're going. So forearms down, elbows are kind of beside your body. First thing we do is our cobra. So that is press and lift between the shoulder blades. Lift or peel yourself off the floor. Now you're gonna shift your weight to one side. Big reach to tap that target. Come back and lower down. Notice I'm not in a rush. Press and lift, long neck, tap and return lower back down so that added reach is really engaging you probably feel it these postural muscles big reach there these muscles along our spine that help to keep our spine protected press and reach there's four we're going for four more please you can always rest at any time if you need to press good nice lift reach Return all the way down. Press through the hands, lift the shoulders up, peel that chest off the floor, tap. Excellent. Two more. Press up, reach here and lower. Press up, reach there and lower good job now as we talked about last week when we do a lot of that extension we can have a little bit of tension here and now i do not have osteoporosis in my spine but i do want to stretch that out i'm going a little wider with my knees trying to keep a long back get a little bit of a long spine child's pose here just to reverse some of that tension a little bit or you can lay on your back, hug a knee to your chest. Always a good idea. Anytime you do the exercises on your stomach that are kind of creating a lot of that tension in the low back, it's not dangerous. Uh, it's just tight. And it's nice to get a little bit of a loosening up after we do that. So that's how I do that. Okay. Next up, grab your band. This one is fun, you guys. I just, it just makes me giggle. I love how fun this is. All right, so I have my kettlebell and I have a, a relatively strong band, but it is pretty stretchy. You could use a blue or green 
CLX band. If you follow me, then you know I use these CLX bands for different purposes. So blue or green would work well. I have a black one. Just a little stronger, doesn't make a big difference. If you're not sure where to get these, they're listed on my Amazon storefront there. So uh, that's available for you if you're interested in purchasing. So one-legged balance, I've got the weight on a stretchy band and I'm grabbing it so I can hold it off the floor and now it's a little bouncy. So now balancing on one leg, we're doing 10 swings forward and backwards, three, four, five, really changes it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now I'm going in both hands and we'll swing side to side. One, oh, two, I feel that ankle and foot working so much, four, five, six, core also, whoa, I lost it, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent. We'll go to the other leg, standing on one leg. It's in my other hand now, forward and back 10 times. One, the harder you swing, the harder it is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and to the front side to side. Now I know, I'm so grateful, my balance has improved by doing all these things with you and sharing them on YouTube. Five, six, and I'm so happy about it. Eight, nine, 10. If your balance has improved also, I would love to know. Please leave me a comment below. If you've been following along, if you've been working on these different balance exercises I'm teaching you, I know I've benefited. Please tell me if it's helped your balance also. I would really appreciate it. Moving on to our strength exercise, I have my band attached to the wall. So you could loop it around something sturdy in your house, something really stable and strong. Whenever we do the attached exercises, that's what you wanna do. So we have the band attached to the wall and this is a bit of a combined movement. I'll show you here first before we do it. So up tall, I've got the band about shoulder height, maybe slightly lower between shoulder and elbow height. Arm fully extended, big open heart. I'm going to pull and lift at the same time. Right, I did the wrong side. So the arm that's pulling is the knee that's lifting. So the left shoulder is pulling back and the right hip is holding us up. And so that diagonal from the left shoulder to the right hip is working one of the fascial slings that we have, this fascia system that is a huge supporter of our trunk. Fascia is, I could go on and on about fascia, but this is an exercise that's specifically designed to target this diagonal sling in our fascia from our left shoulder to our right hip that helps create that stability and structure to our spine. It's the support our spine is naturally designed to give us when we target the right type of exercise. So left arm, left knee, we're going for eight, and then we're going to switch sides. So I've got my right arm back and I'm just going to switch arms as we go. One, two, it helps with balance. Three, this is also a balance exercise. Four, I love when we get more than one benefit. Five, six, seven, eight. Interesting, so this is our strength component. Now, this is a row, so it's targeting along the shoulder blade, but where I felt that the most was my hip, my right hip working really hard to balance and stabilize. Wow, thank you, right hip. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so see where you feel this the most. One, two, yes, we switch sides. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, without a doubt, 
I felt that the most in my hip. I love that. What a great way to target that area. Okay, clearing out the space for the next exercise. This is our power and impact component. This is the last component of our Brick House Bones, four exercises a week. And today we're doing braiding. And the slow motion version of braiding looks like this with my hips square and facing forward. I cross one foot over the front, I step out, I cross that same foot behind and step out. And what I see a lot of people lose as they get older is that ability for their leg to cross the center line of their body. That is a loss of hip mobility. We need hip mobility if we have osteoporosis, especially if we have osteoporosis in our spine. If we have osteoporosis in our spine, we need to be able to move really, really well through our hips. And this is the side to side version of how we move well through our hips. So braiding at walking speed, and if this is new to you, do it at walking speed, please. Get comfortable doing it at walking speed. Gradually pick up the speed as you go. Yes, there's a little rotation. This rotation's happening through my pelvis, through my hips. It is okay back and forth. So walking speed, moving faster, and then you can go on your toes. So you need a little space here. I don't have as much space on camera as I would like, but I think you see what we're getting at for our agility, impact, speed, and power with our side-to-side -side braiding. And so I would try to do be 10 feet out, 10 feet back, three laps of that to work on that impact and braiding, but that mobility. Now here it is again, it's targeting side to side or lateral movements, which we know are super important for protecting our hips. So many really beneficial things of each of these exercises today. All right, this was number 30 line. Thank you so much. If you like the t-shirts, if you too want to wear a Brick House Bones t-shirt, I have a link to my online store. Anytime you purchase these, they just send a few dollars my way and it supports my ability to provide this free content for you. And I appreciate